In this lesson, we've covered a lot of subject matter. We did all of the location stuff for our brainstorming section, and that included multiple aspects of location brainstorming. So we started out with our general street scenes. For, for my IP, I did general street scenes. For you, it's any kind of general scene showing life in your world. Um, and for the stuff that I did, uh, I ended up creating three different images. Um, one of them sort of a straight on view of a part of the city with like a lot of lively activity happening. Another one was a, a value drawing that showed a um, pretty like wide area of the street, um, a bunch of activity happening far away and then a little bit more sparse activity happening close up. Um, that one also had some nice uh, play of light and shadow in it. We got to establish some of the stuff about like time of day in our world. We also had one from a more a more extreme angle. So we had a, a view that was coming from the window of one of the buildings or thereabouts, looking kind of down on the people who are walking down an alleyway. So that gave its own particular feel. Each of these general scenes lends a different character to the city, shows you a different part of the city, and, and each has its own feel in terms of like liveliness and what it's choosing to focus on. Um, when we moved further from that, we did our specialized locations, which really allowed us to dig deep into some of the parts of the city that have the most character to them. So we started out with the birdhouse, which in itself had a lot of really cool ideas. That was also a great example of how to kind of push through some of your artist block and just keep working and keep coming up with things and not let a lack of initial ideas really stop you from, from creating something cool. Because as I had said during that video, like I, I didn't really have any ideas for what that place was going to look like when I started out. Moving forward from there, we did the merchant's shops. Um, we did the barber shop and uh, the bar. And so the merchant shops is a uh, area that gi it gives a lot of opportunity for for uh, exploration and kind of coming up with what uh, the, a, a lot of a, a lot of the character of the city might feel like. Um, you can tell a lot about people by what kind of things they're buying. So that's definitely something we can explore later. The barbershop and bar were both really cool. I um, things to explore because we hadn't done any indoor locations really. So um, those allowed us to really kind of explore a different feel. Um, the barbershop also has a lot of really cool opportunities for details and stuff that we can put in the background of the scene. After that, we worked on the school and uh, we created a what ended up becoming a really nice establishing shot for the school and then went even further to create an extra image for the school showing just a little slice of life um, in a different part of that location. So we kind of went through and established many areas of the city. Um, we, we got a feel for what life is like for all different types of people that live there. And, uh, you know, a, a lot of the people who go to some of these locations wouldn't go to others. Like a, we got to imagine that a lot of the people, um, who are in this uh, more high class barber shop might not be showing themselves at the uh, the rowdier bar that we created or the birdhouse or obviously the school and the bar don't really uh, don't really cross over. So we're we're able to really just with the breadth of images that we're creating and the the diversity of places that we're depicting, we're able to get a clearer picture of what this society feels like. So, you know, again, that's one of the things that differentiates this technique of really sketching everything about a world from a lot of other concept art and, and concept design, because through creating a huge amount of images, we are really sketching the entirety of this society. You know, you, you can't get as much of a feeling of a society just from a, a, a picture or two, it, it really requires a lot more 
of a look into the many aspects of that society. So the amount of, uh, the amount of stuff that we're putting out during these uh, brainstorming chapters and brainstorming lessons is really going to bolster the feel of this world that you're creating. So I hope that you're making some pretty great stuff. Don't forget to upload all your homeworks to the Learn Squared homework gallery and uh, let other students you know, take a look and comment. And don't forget to comment on other students' homework as well and really uh, show your support for everybody. And I'll see you in the next lesson.